Hey guys, it's Carly and today we're going to do an updated album collection for 2021. No, 2022. It's 2022. We're doing an updated album collection for December of 2022. These are all of the albums that I have in all of the groups I'm collecting going into 2023. So yeah, we will just start. This is an overview of my shelves. I am the cat <laughs> trying to cuddle me right now. Um, so I have two large bookshelves. So they're five shelf bookshelves. They're just from Walmart. They're nothing special. And uh, yeah, we will just go look at the groups. Okay, so the first shelf we're going to start on is the left hand shelf, which is this one. So up at the very top, I have some of my non-album stuff. So I have my Got Sun and Light stick, a mug that I got from my school trip that I took in China with some <laughs> extra RMB in it because uh, it wasn't enough to worth be worth exchanging when I came back. Then we have my Got Seven Gotun doll. So this is JB. And in this kind of empty looking box is my NCT Dream Dream Cafe mug. So then we have some larger photo books. So I have Eyes One's D Icon Round Two. And I have WJSN Daily, the photo book version of the photo book. That's their new photo book. And then I have some Seasons Greetings. Uh, boxes. So I have WJSN's 2022 Seasons Greetings. That's the green one and their 2021 Seasons Greetings is the pink one. They're both WJSN. So then over here we have more photo books. So this kind of empty looking one is WJSN Daily. This is the mini booklet version. Then I have Jamin's version of NCT Dream's Dream in a Dream photo book. Uh, Wavy's Our Home photo book and WJSN's Persona on Ego Off photo book. So both versions of that. And that is everything on the top. So then we move down to the next shelf and this is uh, my first GOT7 shelf. So this is all GOT7. So we start with their older albums. These are all in chronological order, except for like a little bit over here because of the size difference between the albums. So over here, we have Just Right, Mad, both versions, uh, Flight Log, Departure, both versions, Flight Log, Turbulence, this is the group photo book, Flight Log, Arrival, I am still missing one version of this album, which is so sad. <laughs> um, JJ Project Verse 2, so I have both versions of that. Then we have 7 for 7, I have both versions of that. Then I have 7 for 7 Present Edition, and I have one version of this. I'm still missing the white one. Then I have all three versions of Eyes on You. I have three versions of Spinning Top, but I am missing one of the versions. They were like random, so you can't tell unless you like open the album what version is what. But I am missing one version. I have a duplicate. Then I have Just To Focus. I'm sorry about the glare. So I have both versions of Just To Focus. All three versions of Present You and Me. I have three different versions of Got7 Present You. So Present You and Me is the repackage for Present You. And I have three versions of this one. There are technically eight because every member has their own version. But again, they're random. You can't tell which member you get unless you open it up. So I believe I have Young J and maybe Bam Bam and then yu gi -Oh, I want to say. This is yu gi -Oh, my signed version. I'm not sure whose version of the albums I have, but I have three of them <laughs> either way. Then we have all four versions of GOT7's Call My Name album. And that is everything for the top shelf. So then moving down, we have more of my GOT7 group comebacks and the start of my GOT7 solo collection. So if we move over here, 
I have all seven versions of Got Seven's Breath of Love Last Piece album. So they each have random member covers and then random member photo books. Then I have all five versions of Die and all seven versions of their most recent comeback, Got Seven. And these, like the Got Seven albums, were also random member cover. So then we start the solo albums from here. So I have Bam Bam's Ribbon album, for both versions of it, and also Bam Bam's second mini album, which was just called Bam Bam, and I have both versions of that. Then I have yu gi -Oh's Point of View You album, Young Jay's Colors album, both versions, Young Jay's Sugar album, both versions, uh, JB's uh, Somo Fume album, and both of his Deaf albums. So one is Deaf Love and the other is Deaf Abandoned Love. And that is everything for this shelf. So then we move down the next shelf down and this is the rest of my Got7 albums and my Cheon albums. So over here we have JB's Be Yourself album. So I have both versions of that. This is Mark's The Other Side album and this is Jackson's Magic Man album and I do have um, all three versions of those. They're just massive, <laughs> so I'm trying to create space. So then we start my Cheon albums. So I have both versions of her Hush Rush album and this one is upside down. Okay, let me put that, stand that up right. So I have both versions of her Hush Rush album and her Hush Rush Kino. Then, oh, let me move to the other side. <laughs> Then I have some of her Eyes One albums. I did not buy Eyes One's albums until Bloom Eyes, so that's why that's the first album I have. I don't have anything newer than that. So I have one version of One Rick Diary, one version of Bloom Eyes, and then all three versions of One Reeler, and also their um, 12 album. This is a Japanese album. Okay, so that is everything for this shelf. So then we move down to the next shelf and this is my Promise 9 collection. So these are all my Promise albums <laughs> that I have. So over here I have both versions of their Fun Factory album. Then I have both versions of My Little Society, both versions of One Way Ticket, the Talk and Talk album. I have four copies of Midnight Guest, but I do have both versions. So for Midnight Guest, there is only two versions. I just have four copies of it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> then I have their From Our Momentum Box album, so I have all three versions of that as well. And then we have some of the Kinos and Jewel Cases. So I have both versions of their Fun Factory Kino, this is their Nine Way Ticket Kino, and this is their My Little Society Kino. I don't know why I don't have the names facing forward on there. Uh, that seems a little odd, but yeah, <laughs> that's what the Kinos are. And then I have one version of their From Our Memento Box jewel case and five of their Midnight Guest jewel case albums. And then over here, I have the rest of their kinos. So I have both versions of From Our Memento Box and both versions of Midnight Guest. And then at the back, I do have some signed albums. So let me pull those out because Promise Nine are like one of those groups where I consistently buy um, signed albums for them. So let me grab those. I'm sorry about the glare. So the first signed album I have is my Nine Way Ticket album. Then I have Midnight Guest. My Little Society. And From Our Memento Box. I just don't have From Our Memento Box wrapped yet. So um, I kind of need to do that. Maybe I should do that today. I probably should have done that before, but whatever. And then I also have their uh, Weavers version of From Our Memento Box. This was pretty much just, you're buying the photo cards. 
Okay, so that was everything for this shelf. I don't know how I had those albums organized, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. But anyway, that's everything for my Promise 9 shelf. So then the bottom shelf, which is kind of hard to see, is just all of my extra albums. These are the albums of the groups I no longer collect for. So I need to start like posting and selling these. But I won't be doing that until January. So I'll put my Instagram here. Um, in January, I will be selling these albums. So you can go to my train sale Instagram and at some point in or after January, they will be showing up. So then we move to the right shelf, the shelf on the right hand side. And these are the rest of my albums. So up at the top, uh, kind of have a similar thing. I have my WJSN light sticks. So this is version two and this is the mini version of version one. And up here is also where I keep like things I have to put away in my binders. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit messy up there. But yeah, that's the top of the shelf. Then we move down and this is the first part of my WJSN album collection. So we start over here with Would You Like, The Secret uh, from WJSN, one version of Happy Moment. I just like cannot get my hands on the blue version. Then I have one version of Dream Your Dream. I'm also missing the other two versions. I have all three versions of WJ Please, all three versions of WJ Stay, all three versions of For the Summer, all three versions of As You Wish, and all three versions of Neverland. So that is the shelf. Oh, and I also just have my XE game piece from their fan kit this year. So that's everything on the shelf. Then we move down to the next shelf, and this is the rest of my WJSN collection and my Oh My Girl collection. So over here I have the units for WJSN. So I have both uh, versions of Choco Muse Humph, both versions of The Black's My Attitude, and both versions of Choco Muse Super Yuppers. Then over here I just have some of my similarly sized Oh My Girl albums. So I have both versions of Remember Me and the Bungie album. So then we move over and I have all three versions of Unnatural and all three versions of Sequence and then we start Oh My Girl. So for Oh My Girl I have both versions of the fifth season, both versions of Nonstop, both versions of Dun Dun Dance, and all three versions of Real Love. So I have the regular photo books and then the limited edition version. <laughs> The limited version and this is the packet that came with the inclusions for WJSN's WJSN daily photo book. I just had nowhere to put it so I put it there. And this is also the lanyard that came with the ID card for WJSN's WJ standby fan meeting. I just keep it there and that is everything on this shelf. Okay so then we move down a shelf and this is my NCT Dream album collection. So these albums are also not in order, um, chronological order, but they're also not in <laughs> size order so it's kind of like weird the way I organize them but this is just how I did it. So I have both versions of Hello Future, both versions of Glitch Mode, both versions of Beatbox. Um, the first, this is We Go Up. Then I have one version of We Boom. I am missing the black version. Then I have both versions of Reload and all three versions of Hot Sauce. So then we have the keynotes that I have for NCT Dream, which is like not all of them. <laughs> I have both versions of Hello Future and their Reload Kino. So then over here is where I keep their jewel cases and digi packs. So I have Runjin's. Runjin is my bias. So if you're wondering why all of these are Runjin, it's because he's my bias. So I have Runjin's uh, jewel case version for hot sauce, his digi pack for beatbox. Oh my gosh. 
and oh, also his digi pack for glitch mode. So then behind everything is their playbook for NCT Dream Ping Fong. So this is from Hot Sauce Era. And that's just what it is. I don't know. I have nothing more to say about it. <laughs> and that is everything on this shelf. So then we move down to the next shelf and these are all the groups I collect that aren't alts. So like I might buy all their albums or I might buy a few of their albums, but they're not alts. So starting over here, I have NCT's like kind of yearbook comeback collection. So I have, that was weird. Um, NCT Empathy, so this is NCT 2018, I have both versions of that. NCT 2020, this is Resonance, so I have both versions of Resonance, and then I also have both versions of Resonance Part 2, and this is NCT, this is from last year, and this is their Universe album, and I also have some of the jewel cases, I kind of just got the jewel cases for each of my biases, so I have Jamin... Yang Yang and Runjin for the jewel cases because back when this album was released I was collecting all three of those members now I'm only collecting Runjin. So then we move over and these are my on and off albums so I have both versions of City of On and Off. I have their spin-off album all three version <laughs> I have all three versions of Popping and all three versions of Goosebumps. And their storage of on and off, their album from this year is also just over here. I'm using it to like stand up the IVE albums. So then I have my IVE albums. So I have both versions of Eleven, all three versions of Love Dive, and all three versions of After Like. And in the back, let me grab these quickly if I can. <laughs> so in the back, I just have both versions of Winner's Holiday Album, which is their comeback from this year. Uh-oh. I kind of just put those in the back because they come in bags and my cat was chewing them. So yeah, that's why they're back there. <laughs> There's really no other reason other than I'm trying to protect them. And over here, I just have some extra albums that didn't fit down here that I'm trying to get rid of or planning on getting rid of. So I have some extra GOT7 tour log photo books and my NCT 127 album. So I have Superhuman and Regular Irregular. So yeah, these aren't part of my collection. I don't collect NCT 127 anymore, but those are just albums I have that I'm trying to get rid of. So on the bottom shelf of this shelf, I have groups that I buy albums from but don't collect. So <laughs> it's a little bit confusing, but I have albums from groups that I like and I occasionally buy albums from, but I don't collect them anymore or their groups that don't release a ton of stuff anymore. So like over here, I have my New East collection and I do collect Aaron, or I did collect Aaron, but New East has disbanded, so this album collection will not be growing. So I have Who You, um, Who You, Waken, Happily Ever After, a couple versions of The Table, a couple versions of The Nocturne, a couple version of, <laughs> A couple versions of Romanticize and Needle and Bubble. So this is just where I keep my, they disbanded and they're like probably never going to come back, album collection. So then I have my shiny album. So I have one version of Atlantis, the Story of Light albums. And then I also have some Lehigh albums. So I have Four Only and 20. Four and 24 degrees Celsius. And I also have um, Jackie's 2016 re-album. So this is their re-release of a 90s album when they first came back. 
Then I have a couple of Super Junior albums, a couple of Saturday albums, a B2B album, my Somi albums, and this is Dream Notes, Dream Alive. <laughs> this is Dream Notes, Dreams Alive album. And then I also have my SMCU albums. I just think these albums are ugly, so I don't like to put them with the rest of my NCT stuff. But I have the full group version, so like the whole company version, and also NCT Dream. NCT Dream and Shiny. And then I just have a couple more albums that I need to get rid of. So that is my updated album collection and an updated shelf tour. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!